Hello everyone, Satnam. I've had a few requests recently to do a video about my tattoos and also talk about tattoos and spirituality. And basically my point of view of tattoos and spirituality is very similar to the video I did on makeup and spirituality. Basically, our bodies are our temples and we can decorate them and celebrate them however we wish, as long as we're not hurting ourselves or others. I do think that certain tattoos carry a vibration with them. So if you're getting a symbol or maybe writing in a different language, it's definitely important to research what it could mean in other cultures, especially if you plan to travel, as certain things could be very offensive to people in other parts of the world. But at the end of the day, you're getting it for yourself. If it's truly something that you think is going to help you along your path, or if it's just something very important to you, then I think just go for it. So that being said, I will share my tattoos with you guys and I will go over them in the order that I've gotten them. So my first tattoo, and this is probably my funniest tattoo, was actually my ex's name. Yes, I did that. <laughs> we were engaged when I was about 20 years old and shortly after the engagement, I decided to get his name on me. But when people hear that story, a lot of them say, I bet you regret that, but the truth is, I would do it again. It made me happy at the time, it made us happy, and I don't regret it. So this tattoo was here, and his name has been covered up with two feathers, and the quote, take my hand and we'll fly away. So this kind of represented to me at the time that even though things didn't work out with this person, I wasn't going to give up on love. So it's kind of two feathers floating together in the wind as a representation of two souls. And the quote is a Peter Pan quote. When I was younger, I always wanted to travel, but I had no way to. So I used to fantasize a lot about Peter Pan coming to my window and whisking me away to some faraway lands. As I got older, I realized that I can travel myself, I don't need Peter Pan to come help me, and I have been flying away on my own ever since. My second tattoo is one, like I said, you are getting a tattoo for yourself and no one else. So this tattoo was a reminder to myself. As you can see, it's supposed to be a tree, but it actually turned out looking more like a branch or a coral reef. That is because I went in, I had a drawing of a filigree type tree, and the artist didn't tell me until after he tattooed me that it wouldn't look anything like my drawing and it wasn't possible to do that much detail on fingers. The tattoo wasn't really for looks, so I wasn't too upset about that. Basically, I worked in very superficial environments for many years, in nightclubs and also in the fashion industry. And for a while, while I was in Asia, I kind of got really lost in it all and forgot my way, I guess you could say. So I went home and I spent time with my parents. They're very simple people, not materialistic whatsoever. I just got grounded and remembered where I was from and remembered what true happiness means. I just remembered my truth. So I got this tattoo before I went back to Asia, basically as a way every time I was drinking a cocktail or something in the future because I did work in nightclubs, so unfortunately I drank quite a bit of alcohol in my early 20s. So this was a reminder anytime I took a drink to remember my roots, to remember where I was from and to remember my truth. And it did, it really helped me. And a lot of people said, oh, it's not very pretty, you're gonna regret it, but I definitely don't. It was really important to me at the time. So next one, I got a little moon. This camera really makes my feet look like alien crazy feet. I got a little moon and then at the same time I got this one. I don't know if you can see that is an ohm symbol with a little design on it. And I got those two together. The moon is something I have felt very connected to. Sometimes traveling, I feel overwhelmed, especially in a very foreign country, and sometimes a little lost, like I miss home. The moon is always there. My favorite thing to do while I travel is to just sit on a beach or in a pool and meditate to the moon. And the moon is said to be feminine, but for me, just personally, 
I have always felt a very strong masculine presence with the moon. So for a while I used to make a joke that the moon was the only consistent man in my life. I didn't have much consistency in my life and I could always go to him or to the moon for support and to feel safe. And it might sound a little weird but if you've traveled a lot you can probably relate. It's really nice to have any kind of consistency so seeing the moon every night really meant a lot to me. And because I do a lot of yoga, I thought it would be nice to have some tattoos on my feet. The OM symbol, as many of you know, it is very symbolic for many reasons. The same thing, I just wanted to have something pretty to look at while I was doing yoga, and also a reminder to stay connected to all that is, and stay connected to my breath and the universal vibration. Next tattoo is this one, kind of. It says we part only to meet again. And I got this last summer. Last summer was my first time home in many years and I had lost six friends and people I grew up with to a drug called fentanyl. It is an ingredient that has been put into drugs like cocaine and unfortunately many people are dying from it, at least in Canada, I'm not sure about other countries. I didn't know about this until I got home, so it was a really hard summer for me. At the start of last year, I also had an abortion, and it was a very, very painful process for me. It was kind of a reminder that even though I've lost these souls in this lifetime, and we've parted, that I do believe in another lifetime, we'll meet again. That was something very special to me. Next, I got this one. Try to show you guys. It's a lotus. So this I just got actually about four months ago. And I was actually going through a difficult time as well. Um, my partner and I were on a break and I had a bit of a health scare that was pretty scary for me because I was dealing with it on my own in a country I don't really know many people. I just decided on the spot to get this like the day of. In a lot of ancient systems, they say that your energy is in your stomach kind of right here. Chinese say it's your chi and it's the chakra where your personal power is. So the spot I got it is between my heart and my personal power. And basically it represents a warrior heart, uh, one of resilience. And then my partner got actually the same matching tattoo in the same spot shortly after we got back together. And my last two, I got this one, you can see. It's just three lines that represent Shiva, which is a Hindu god, and I really wanted to get a tattoo of him on my back. I had a very beautiful design made, but like I said, I did some research, and some people do find this very offensive. Because I'm a teacher, I don't want to be offending anyone while I travel. So to me, it didn't seem important enough to risk that. And also it's on my back, so even though it's very important to me, I'm not going to see it all the time. And my back is still empty, eventually I'll find a beautiful design for it. So I just got these three instead, these three lines that represent Shiva. And on my other arm, just these triangles. So the way that I think of a person when they're whole is feminine and masculine energy. When these two are balanced, you have your higher self. So a triangle has many different meanings to a lot of different people. For me, this is just a vision that I see sometimes. Masculine, feminine energy, which we all have, and then when connected and balanced through the body, you can reach your higher state. And I have two because it's basically two people. For a relationship to work, you both have to be balanced and whole on your own. And that is it. Those are all my tattoos. If you have any questions about this, just comment below. And for more videos, please hit the subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed learning about my tattoos. Satnam.